Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from James chapter 5 verse 16. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another day of life and another, another breath, dear Lord, that you have allowed us to take even now while we speak to you it is by your permission that we are here even this morning and we just pray that we use this time to seek you and to know you so that we can know to love you and in loving you we can show forth your love to all mankind as you have taught us to and by our lord jesus christ thank you again lord for food raiment we know that these are the basic things of life thank you for shelter thank you for provisions and thank you for every single blessings we have in and amongst us whether how great or little i just pray that we use these things that you have committed to us in this life to bring you glory so in the day that you do return we shall be accounted as faithful servants and dear Lord, I just pray that you help your servants. As the psalmist says, keep us from committing presumptuous sin. Lord, um, do not cut us, cut us off in our iniquity. But help us to turn away from <coughs> sin, turn away from these faults that ensnare us. Keep our eyes focused on you. Keep our hearts and renew them. Renew our minds. Keep them from corruption. So that we can live this life pleasing to you as we ought. Because this is the purpose of what we were all created for. We are created to please our Heavenly Father. And we only can do so through the one who has taught us. Even our Lord Jesus Christ. So dear Lord this morning as always I just pray that your word edify us. Encourage us. Instruct us in righteousness. As always, I just pray for each and every one of us. Keep us patient, keep us sane, keep us long-suffering. Keep us, dear Lord, in this life so we don't give up hope nor move from the faith, but steadfastly endure all things, believe all things, hope all things, and yeah, endure all things, dear Lord, so that we can overcome this life, overcome this world. And um, dear Lord, I just pray also for the young one the children that they are also grown up in the way of truth and righteousness so when they're of age they shall not depart from you lead us in spirit and in truth as we ask each and every morning in your word so that we do not lean on our own understanding but bring all things to you in prayer so that we may be one in mind body spirit with you and one in mind in Christ Jesus with one another. So I thank you for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Cool. All right. So James chapter 5, verse 16 says, Confess 516, sorry. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Alright, this is one chapter, maybe one verse that we cover quite a bit. But every time we cover it, it's like something new um, is revealed. Well, to me, really. Because um, I don't know if this is um, the same with everyone, but... Even if I read the Bible back to front every single day of my life, say that was possible. Like every single day that I read this, this the whole the scriptures from cover to cover, from Genesis to Revelation. I guarantee you that every single day I would learn something new from the scriptures. And it's so, and it's mind blowing because as we experience life, the word, and I will just give my testimony, as we experience life, the word makes more sense so even something that you experienced five years ago and you read the scripture and it was it was fitting for that time five years from then you can read that same scripture and because of the growth or what or the lap thereof or whatever you are facing in this life 
that scripture would still speak volumes to that time what you are in right so it's like a, as people say it's, it's a living it's a living book isn't it um it's li literally um it's i was gonna say something but it would have caused confusion so let, let yeah let me just leave it that <coughs> leave it at that but one thing here is confessing your faults one to another and pray ye one for another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much and this this um these few verses here was well the, the verses even from about where is it yeah about from verse 14 was showing you the importance of prayer right and even me confessing my fault right now i noticed that my prayer life was doing like this it was it was going down right and it didn't go down overnight it just start just little little just, just start. i'm not as prayerful as i would have hoped or thought or or wanted to be or want to be right prayer life start getting down and it's interesting because even for the last few days i've been seeing and hearing a few verses and um that prayer and how god told us to pray without ceasing and pray and fasting this is this is something that is necessary and if i look back even in the times when i went through the most um testing thing or testing part of life not to say that that's the end of the testing but what the things that i've experienced it, it has been prayer that has brought me through it prayer and fasting actually and um yes in those times when you're, you're going through those low times in the valleys of life the prayer will keep you sane keep you motivated keep you humble keep you um, patient keep you long in long suffering and that is literally the communication between you and our heavenly father the communication that we need for that reassurance for that encouragement for that instruction in righteousness and for that way to to go right and um verse 16 even shows you that confessing your faults one to another is good because obviously sometimes we pray obviously we're going to pray for ourselves but if somebody confess their fault to you and asks for prayer then it's like it's more petition being bring, brought to before the father likewise if you have a fault even as we said we'll, we'll use myself as that um example this morning even recently god has shown me that there was a little bit of pride in in so much that um I, I, and it's even hard to explain it's like i didn't know how to receive stuff i'm always the, good at giving but i wasn't i wasn't the best at receiving stuff or asking let me say asking not receiving asking for stuff don't know why maybe it's how i was raised or so i just never i true I, I would prefer not to to ask to put somebody out to benefit myself right so anyway the lord has been bringing me through that and showing me that it's not it's not a crime and as i said it's not nothing that i've sat down and like no i mean now nah take nothing from nobody kind of thing but in that there's a sense of humility when you know that definitely you have to make sure that the lord is your provider and he might be using others to help you in certain things in life right so yeah as i said these things when we confess them we we we, we, we definitely want each other to pray for each other because as we said these petitions they say we're two or more agree anything two or more agree upon this earth as, as according to the will of god it shall be granted unto us right so i'm gonna say this these scriptures as i started off and said it's just interesting to show you how we can read something time and time again but when you go through the things of life the scripture does speak more volumes and that's why it's not a book that we just read once and put down and say yep i've read the bible back to back I'm, I'm legit i'm good nah nah mm -mm, mm -mm. it's something that we partake in every single day think about it if you have a meal do you just eat a nice meal one time and say yep that's it i'm good for life i don't need to eat again no nah, yeah come on you're gonna eat every day because you need food this is our spiritual food right we need it every single day of our life for that 
your nourishment of our inner man right so yeah i'll leave it at that this morning anyways any questions anything that you want to send in send you can send them into the word the email address in the description the word at eachreachone.org or you can drop them in the comment section right and um as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so yeah let us pray for one another <laughs> pray for me and yeah god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow